to Lost Trophies, the series where we look back at old races in Formula E and have a look at the moments that lost drivers what could have been significant victories in their careers. Today, we'll have a look at what could have been Eduardo Mortara's first Formula E victory and just his second ever start, the second of the 2017 Hong Kong e Prix. Two-time Macau GP winner, 30-year-old Eduardo Mortara had gotten his first taste of Formula E in a preseason test for Venturi at Valencia, and a few months later he was invited to join the Venturi FE team alongside Mauro Engel for the 2017-18 season. Because of his accomplishments in junior formula and in GT cars, and because of his age, the Formula E grid had high expectations for the Swiss, Italian, French driver, and in his first race in Hong Kong, he delivered. Despite damaging his car in qualifying and starting at the tail end of the grid, Mortara flew up the order and ended the day in an astounding P7. If he had shown that kind of speed from that far down the order, it was only a matter of time before he showed what he could do from the front of the grid. The next day, Mortara was sorted into Group 3 for qualifying and laid down an astounding lap which easily advanced him into the top 6 for Super Bowl. Heading out third, Mortara set a 1 minute 3.108, which would earn him a P3, but he was promoted to P2 after Mitch Evans had his time deleted. So heading into the race, Felix Rosenquist would sit on pole with Mortara alongside. As the cars lined up on the grid ready for the start procedure, an issue with the lights meant that the race would start under safety car. As the race began, Felix Rosenquist sprinted away from Mortara, but entering turn 1, he locked up the rear axle of his Mahindra and spun around into the hairpin, allowing Mortara to head past into the lead. The first stint would be characterized by Mortara pulling away from second place Daniel Apt, all the time conserving his energy so that he was actually up on the Audi behind. On lap 23, he'd make his pit stop, coming out about 3.5 seconds ahead of Apt. The second stint of the race, however, would be more difficult for Mortara. After having trouble with the lap car of Nick Heidfeld, Edel's lead would be chipped down to just 2 seconds. Mortara, however, would counter, increasing the lead to 2.5 seconds while keeping an eye on energy. With a stable gap, he looks set to take Venturi Racing's first win in Formula E and his first career win in just his second ever race. With 3 laps to go in the race, Mortara, still had an energy advantage to app behind, decided to go for the fastest lap, looking to claim the bonus point. Coming off the back straight, however, Mortara would make his only mistake all day, but it would cost him the race win. Costa, he'll be gutted to be down in 13th place when he could have been battling for a podium. And here's Eduardo Mortara, 3 laps to go in the second round of the Formula E Championship. Daniel Lapp is using say. his fan boost now. I was going to say, Mortara, Mortara made the decision up. for him. Oh, oh, he's, he's on spun! Run. Mortara has spun down at Hong Kong Station Apt when he looked through. to be in control of the e -Prix. And go, Daniel son. Lapp now is leading the race on his birthday with just two and a half Mortara's thrown it away! In what was initially thought to be a regeneration issue, but later admitted to be a mistake, Mortara had locked up the rear brakes of his Venturi and spun it around in turn 2. The same action that had worked to his benefit early in the race had now worked to his detriment. Fortunately, Mortara would not sustain any damage and would be able to rejoin the race. But by now, he had lost not just the lead to Daniel Lapt, but also P2 to Felix Rosenquist. This would prove to have huge implications later on. The race finished under this order, with Mortara earning his first podium. However, three hours after the race, the FIA found a labeling error on Daniel Lapp's car and meant that he would be disqualified from the race, giving the win to runner-up Felix Rosenquist. Mortara, meanwhile, would be promoted to P2. And so there we have it, Eduardo Mortara dominating the race of his life, only to lose it on a simple mistake with three laps to go. And if he had recovered just a few seconds quicker, and rejoined ahead of P3 Felix Rosenquist, he could have taken the victory anyway. But in the end, the victory was not to be for Eduardo Mortara that day. He can get revenge for this loss a year later at Hong Kong, but would eventually lose the chance to become just one of a handful of rookies who have taken trophies in their first Formula E season.